Welcome back, guys. Give me just a second here to finish setting some stuff up. For some reason, the camera likes to put itself back to auto uh, autofocus, which is not very good. There we go. Save it. <clears throat> For some reason, it likes to be all blurry when we do that. But we are good to go now. Grab that up there. Yes. No, the pad. No pad. No pad. Oh, sorry. Please? Yep. Okay. So we are on stage four, if I believe. And no, that's not working. What's going on here? Is it plugged in? No, it's plugged in. Let's try closing that. <clears throat> in just a second, guys. I don't know why this isn't working. It was all working like two minutes ago before I started, so. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, it's not accepting the controller. Oh man, what a lovely day it's been today. Why I'm having problems with this right now. We'll get it sorted out, guys. Just give me a second. There it goes. <laughs> I'm thinking I probably should save up for the better ships here. What do you want? 25,000 and I've got 7,000?
Let's see here. I don't think I've done this stage yet. <clears throat> and slow, we'll explore. Head down here. That's all that's down here, so I'm gonna pick it up anyways. <clears throat> Probably good to go back to this ship anyways to repair. Gravity on this planet's very light. Fill up the fuel. Um. Crystals give me money to buy things. I don't usually collect the money. Because mm. I get money just by playing and beating the stages. Okay. So I'll just get that stuff eventually. good to take your time to kill the enemies because they don't respawn unless you enter the wormhole and come out. Mm -hmm. The wormhole is the last thing you do in each stage. As long as you do it correctly, you shouldn't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. Does it hurt you when you hit the wall? Yes. It hurts worse if I didn't have the <clears throat> shield on. Try to avoid all this. Whoa, 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 what's that?
warp spaceship. Can I collect that now, or do I have to wait till I die? Straightforward. And there's been a lot of side exploring like the last ones have. Here's my worm one of my wormholes. I get fuel by picking up stuff like this too then. The weight of how it swings like that also affects my speed and stuff. Are really cool. The, the graphic, or the graphics, the physics in this in this game are actually really neat. Spaceship for free guy when I need it. This is just like pulling me. Ooh, brushed. Robot kit, value 1200. Fix to do is put my shields on when I start. You can't put them on later? I can, but I just run out of water <clears> faster <throat> if I don't wear them. I take like a fifth of the damage I normally would if I hit things. Mm -hmm. Like, normally, if you get hit by a bullet, it's instant death. Really? Yeah. Jeez. So, having the shield on is impossible. And these enemies will continue to spawn. There's nothing I can do about them. Those little planets and they're actually wormholes is what they are not wormholes, but uh, black holes. Mm -hmm. Red ones have reverse polarity and the blue ones suck you in. So the red push you away, blue pull you in. Mm -hmm. That's this I went.
All right, there's the first fuel. What's up, Casey? Oh, sorry. Yeah, so I was super busy at work. Um, when you were messaging me, I had a, a client that was having an issue and I had to stay late from work, which is why I'm running a little late tonight. But uh, um, I thought it was awesome. That was actually a really good crate for 15 bucks. Yep, they're out wandering around. Yeah, so the, Lu the Luigi, er, Luigi Mansion and uh, Pokemon crossover was epic. I loved the the ghostly and the ganger and uh, the haunter all being the ghost for his mansion. That was that was cute.
It's kind of dark. Shit. Um, I'm not sure. Well, I've been streaming for a little bit, so they're probably still working on getting here. So I was wondering if I could get you to do me a favor. Could you type in the chat, type exclamation point, next game, all one word, no capitals? I want to see if my new commands are working. God damn, I didn't think that was money. They do work. So meet Nightbot. Nightbot is my new uh, bot for the chat. He's got a couple commands. Like, for instance, the swear jar command is still there. There is an estimate, exclamation point, estimate, ex exclamation point, next game, exclamation point, last game, Swear jar and one other one I set up. Um, and the main reason I set him is he is able. Um, yeah, so I found out that the mods can set uh, the the commands up. There's a command line that the mods can run that can change what the command does. So technically, when I am playing a game or we switch a new game. You guys will be able to update the next and last game and the estimate based off how people feel about the game. What's uh what's Bank Heist supposed to do? Yeah, so I actually need your guys' help in keeping Nightbot up to date. I haven't found exactly how to do it yet, but if you type oh it was Pick My Next Game was the next one I had that will post a link in the chat to the uh, the Google Doc. Huh, never heard of that one.
Hey, you know, Sunday when I was doing homework and yesterday when I was doing homework, I was watching the Mexican Runner constantly. Um, so I can't, I can't say nothing. I do it too. It's, uh, I like to have noise in the background. And when I watch TV, I usually pay attention to what's going on on the TV. And so I don't focus on the other thing that I'm supposed to be working on. And streaming is nice because I can focus on the, don't have to focus and I can still pay attention. Um, so like yesterday I watched TMR and he was doing, um, off-road or super off-road, which looks incredibly difficult and I'm not looking forward to. Um, I was able to, one, get pointers in the game when I have to play it, and two, I was still able to interact with the audience and hang out and be a part of his show while doing the other things I had to do yesterday. Sup, BSG? Welcome! Ah, oh, you fucking gravity! Oh yeah, those commercials that pay me so much money for you guys to watch on my stream. God damn. Well, yes and no, I mean... This game's been going for a couple weeks now. We haven't really been, like, fully pay playing it. Um, it seems every Thursday I've kind of stirred the uh, the Twitch somewhere. Oh, sweet. I need to uh, save that. Can you Facebook that to me in a message? I want to watch that tomorrow at work. Well, I'll probably won't watch it at work, but I'll watch it after work. Yeah, Thursdays have kind of turned into a free for all with um, setting world record or trying to set world records and Super Mario, Mario Mario Maker. We spent one Thursday just playing Mario Maker stages, which was a lot of fun. It was a nice break. School's almost done, so I'll have more time here coming up soon. Sub Photon, welcome, bud. So I um I've been watching TMR stream quite a bit, and I'm thinking I want to lay off. Um, I mean, not really lay off, but I kind of wanna I want to do more b blind plays. Um, so games like this, I'm okay with using a cheat where it's. It's fucking ridiculous. The fact that you have to complete this game with five guys is just not, it's feasible, but it's not something I want to bang my head against. I want to complete it. And I want to move on. Um, so I'm going to be replaying Heavy Shredding because Heavy Shredding is a game that I feel doesn't need to be used as the cheat. So we're going to add that to the list. And the other reason I want to replay it is I'm going to try to set the world record on the high score. So when we do replay it, uh, I'm working on getting a capture card that will capture the video and you can still, you know, it'll be like a normal stream, but I'll actually be using the legit programs and stuff. Oh, shit. This fucker. Yeah, actually it is. Okay, we're not after money. We'll take that health, though.
Really? How's he doing? Just getting bounced around here. I was life after NWC for uh, Mad Mage. Yeah, I saw the pictures from Europe. Damn, this fucking map is huge! That's good, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad everybody's doing really well. here it's got uh, a weird gravity pull to, to the north. Pick up a copy of uh, the remakes of uh, 1990s World Championships. I saw Thor was selling them. I think a guy from my pa uh, a guy from a Facebook page I'm with, like the retro collectors and whatnot, one of them posted and tagged, uh, asking Thor if he would pick them up a copy and sign it. And I guess Thor actually did. That was really. Really cool that he did something like that. Nine, come on, BSG. Well, I just... This stage... Oh, that's different. Yeah, you're losing a, a minute and a half there. That's, that's big.
Not bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, my codes aren't working. dealt with this last week too. Alright, let's try this. So, for some reason, for some reason, the little cheat for extra lives will not work with the codes I already have. So I have to use the level codes, which I don't know why there's a difference. It's very weird. Let's get started, I guess. The news is I kind of remember everything, so... not a fuel this close last time. I think there was a gem or something. I got money here last time. Unless I just missed it and I wasted my fucking guys on that one.
Does anybody know if TMR's completed this one? I watched him do uh, Super Off-Road last night, and I gotta say, I was impressed. He did all 99 races, which was insane. What's new with you guys? Photon has the new digs. Y'all, y'all moved in yet?
Oh my god, that was so fucking close. I just brushed that fucking bullet. Nice. Picking out new furniture is kind of fun. It, it sucks when you find something you really like and you can't have it because it doesn't fit. I I had that problem a couple times when I was picking out furniture for the new place here. Like for the new game room. I really wanted like a rocker or something. But it just, it wouldn't fit. And then I found a really nice leather sectional I, I wanted and it, it almost fit but I would have had no room whatsoever in here to do anything. And so, like, my, my game room doubles as my office. So this little space here is my my office for work and for school on top of this. So it's, it's pretty cluttered with all the shit I have already, my game collection, and then my desk. So I didn't really have room to work with a lot of stuff. So luckily I was able to find a nice couch. Uh, Mallory's mom had one we could try out that looked like it would fit and we tried it and I absolutely loved it. So we just, we kept her couch and got her a new one. No, I thought that was gonna happen. the fun part. I'm hoping that first wormhole I saw over here is the big one that will get us where we need. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, for as much time as I spend in here, I, I sit on it quite a bit. Um, Watched The Walking Dead last night. We we sat in here and watched it. It worked out pretty well. All right, where the fuck is this warp zone? Is that it down there? Maybe. Let's go over here and check. Oh, Link, I've played better games, let's put it that way. That's the appropriate wormhole. Nope. And I'm not after money. So it must be. But it's down this way. Thank you. 
<laughs> I haven't played Rocky Rocky and Bullwinkle. I've seen a video of somebody submitting it for a world record, and it looks like shit. So I can't imagine, but... Woo, I got that health pack just in time, and of course I'm in a fucking dead end. The thing that throws me is the gravity changes down here. So that's the part I'm struggling with right here, is gravity has basically pulled a one fucking 80 on me, and it's all reversed now. So instead of falling down, I fall up. And I just can't, uh, I can't adjust for some reason. And I played the whole game with my ship falling down, and now it falls up. ship. If I die, I can come back here. And this is where I got fucked up last time. Let's try to avoid him. I don't think it's up there. Solar jet man, quit being a dumbass. Found it. Christ! Controls in this game are terrible.
God damn it. Holy f I will be so glad when this game is over. So glad. So bad at flying around that shit. Screw exploring. Also, just as a reminder, I don't know if you guys have forgotten or you can't see it. No, no, you can see it. It's in the chat. But, that's back, ladies and gentlemen, with a new friend named Nightbot. I can already tell I'm not going to like this stage. So it looks like it's two planets side by side and they both have a gravitational pull. a lot more when I slam into one of them, slam into them. Oh man. side we'll see if we can find something. Later. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, that's a new enemy. afraid of what the heck I'm gonna find. Yeah, let's see.
Nope, you're fine. Hitting that planet killed me instantly. What? You got a speeding ticket? Shit. You think they would have been lenient with you being the fact that they could see you haven't had a ticket in 10 years?
hit. That's what I'm saving up for. So I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm fucking lost. I have no idea where I am, and if I needed to get out of here, I don't think I possibly could. That's money. I don't want money. It's a wormhole of some kind. I just go straight up with this. It looks like it, yes. <laughs> um, so pick my pick my next game is also a command and then if you look and you type uh, exclamation point commands it'll actually bring you to a list of all the commands I have set up so I would appreciate any ideas of what you guys have for commands and stuff like that that'd be really cool to add to the channel and I'll try to get them made. And then I'm asking that the mods help me keep everything updated. Uh, there's some commands you can run to update these uh, update these commands for me. Like my next game, you guys can actually update that. Or the estimate. There's an estimated time. I think I way understood. I think I put four hours, but I probably should have put forty. Maybe I put twenty. I don't remember what I put. more fuel pods somewhere. Mm -hmm. 
might as well get this quick. Yeah. Easter, Eastern Ireland. That was a nice chunk of change. Okay. I think there's actually a straw poll uh, command I can set up already that Nightbot has. We could just set that up and use that. Good idea, Casey. <laughs> that can be taken the wrong way. Alright, we need one more fuel pod. I don't know where the hell it's at. Okay, how would I do that? What kind of command would that be? Like something that would email me? There's got to be fuel around here somewhere. Okay, so we found the portal.
Okay, yeah, if you could, that'd be great. That'd be really cool. It's a good idea. Um, like I said, I was saying, if you hit, uh, exclamation point commands, it'll actually show you all the commands that you can command, uh, do on my channel. Click on the link and it'll show you all the commands set up for Timzy 88's channel. Uh, Timzy 88, Timzy 88's channel. Um, and so you guys will always be able to go there and see what it does, what it'll say, things like that. Um, I think it'll actually talk maybe a little more about how to do things, maybe. There might be something, a little tutorial or something. I'm going to try to find a video to watch about Nightbot to learn how to do it, and then I'll try to teach you guys if anybody's interested in helping me keep my channel updated on my commands and stuff. I don't want to force anybody. I'll be all, you know, it's on your own free will if you guys want to help help regulate the channel and stuff. I'm hoping one day I'll get big enough that I can do subscribers and stuff like that, guys. So I never forget the little guys. Hey, we found our last fuel! Is there one for pole? Sweet. So I was actually going to talk to you guys. Um, so I, I kind of want to focus a little more on world records, but I don't also want to go away from this. So, what do you guys think about maybe doing like one night a week records, one night a week this for a while, and then uh, switching when I get, you know, back into three, four days of stream a week, uh, we go back to 90 or 75, 90% of the time is this, and the other time as the world records. And the thing is, the world records is they won't be if, if I set them and the ones I want to set, once they're set, I shouldn't have to worry about them so we wouldn't be spending as much time. Uh, the only reason I ask is, so the Donkey Kong Country record I set, I'm I'm happy with it, but I'm nervous. I check it every day waiting for to find out that he beat it and submit something else. So I want, I want a perfect run. And I know that's asking a lot, but that's the only way I'm going to feel better about it. Yeah, so I, I constantly try to stream Mondays and Tuesdays. Or Tuesdays and Thursdays, I mean. Um, work schedule's flipping around here in a little while, and it's gonna get a little dicey. Yeah, and I wanna know what you guys enjoy watching. I mean, if you guys don't enjoy the, the world record runs when I do them on the stream, I can do them on my off time. You know, like I, I, I can record them, I don't have to stream them, I just didn't know if you guys enjoyed watching and hanging out. Um, I don't know how repetitive that gets to watch. Yeah, yeah, and I'm close on beating, you know, I'm close for the perfect run, and I'm also close to setting the world record for that other track I submitted, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop right into Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, the game that I had to use save states to complete.
Well, it would be a normal stream. I mean, I would... I would just keep going. We wouldn't have to, like, stop every time I changed the game or if I switched over. Um, like we do now, you know. Um, it would all basically be considered the same thing. I would just name it World Fucking Record, and we would just keep going. What? So we gotta die because I can't carry that. Yeah, so I see Ouija. Um, I actually hung out with him when he was practicing for his Zelda run. Oh man, yeah. Um, da Darbin, I think is his name. I actually watched him play last week. Uh, TMR did a raid on his channel about a week ago. And he's insane, man. I mean, it's like frame-perfect Mario. That's... That's ridiculous. He beat it by, like, tenth of a second. Or twentieth of a second. It was insane. How many I got? Not enough. Enough to get that ship, I think. <sighs> Thanks for the retweets, guys. Go, 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 star power! Should we buy, guys? Anti-gravity? No! Super shields? That might be nice. Effective engines? Super mapping device? What?! Where the hell's the new vehicle? I don't want any of this junk. Poor shit. NG DK GB LG MXHB. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with that, guys. Um, so, well, hang on, let me stop the time quick and we can talk. Um, so, I've got no problem with you guys talking about the channel. 
tweeting the channel, whatever you guys want to do, go for it. Um, that's why I've made you guys mods. I know you guys have the channel's best interest in mind. I never worry about anything you guys have to say or stuff like that. So, it, I mean, feel free, guys. Tag me, tweet me, you can, even Facebook. I, I use them both. I tend to use Facebook more. Uh, Twitter, I just kind of set up for the conquest and everything. But don't don't be afraid to do something. I mean, I'm not... I don't give a shit what you do. Um, it's, it's all in good fun. And the world records are probably... Uh, so, I've got... I've got a list here that I want to do that I think would be really cool for me personally that would achieve some type of achievement in my life that I would like to do. Um, I just need to find it. Oh, there it is. So, some of these games I grew up as a kid playing and I loved it. I think it'd be really cool to have some of these records. And some of them are just easy ones that I think I could do and grab for a couple weeks or a month or a year and hold it for a while. Nothing that I'm, I'm serious passionate about. Uh, Mag Max. I watched TMR play it. Later, Casey. Have a good night. Uh, I watched TMR play it, and it looked pretty solid and pretty easy. Uh, and the high score for that is 1.1 mil right now. And I think I could beat that with some with some training and some patience and learning the game and stuff. I think I could beat that score. So that's one of them I want to try for. The second one is Heavy Shredding. Uh, we played that. That's why I want to go back through and play it again without using the cheat. I think that if I can push myself through it on the original cart and try to get there without dying and have a good run like that, it would be a solid high score. So that one I want to try for. Uh, Bugsby. That was a great game I loved as a kid. It was a platformer. You were a cat. You collected yarn balls and you killed aliens. It was a lot of fun. There's no high score for that game yet. So no matter what I do, it will absolutely set a high score or set a record. Uh, Joe and Mac. That's another platform I loved as a kid. That one's going to be a little more challenging. Uh, it's a pretty hard game. And the high score for that right now is 230,000. Uh, it's doable, but it's going to be difficult. Star Fox Competition Pack. That one is kind of like the Donkey Kong Country one I did, but it's Star Fox. It looks really cool. I'm, really, I'm thinking about that one, maybe. Yeah, Joe and Mac is a great game. I loved that game as a kid. We had a rental store here, and I used to rent it every time we went in. That and Super Mario World. It was I loved Joe and Mac. Uh, Yoshi's Cookies was another one I looked at. The high score is not very big, 116,000. It's something I think I could pull off. Uh, AVP is 132,000. I played uh, Friday night, did a little bit of cleaning in my games and making sure everything worked and testing, and I played AVP. And I got to the second stage with the three guys you're allowed, and I was already at 67, 67 or 70,000. So I'm over halfway to that score. So with a little more practice and playing that game for the Conquest, um, I'll be able to beat it. And for that, for AVP and Joe and Mac and Bugsby and them, I'm going to play on the actual carts. They're not going to be done in the ROMs. I think it'll just be best that I do that that way so the high scores will count and it'll also count for the Conquest. Uh, Sunset Rider is another one that I want to try, but I think the score is pretty high. It was just set not too long ago, and that's at a little over 1 million. Uh, Sunset Rider was by far one of the best Super Nintendo games, in my opinion. You were a cowboy and you chased outlaws, and it kind of plays like Contra, but you're a cowboy, and so like there's different, there's four different cowboys, uh, and each one has a different weapon. Like one has pistols, one has a shotgun. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed the game, and like I said, I just tested it the other day um, to make sure it worked, and that's going to be another one I play in the cart. Uh, the one, the other one I don't have on here is Tetris Attack. That one's going to be real soon. Tetris Attack is going to be one that I'm going to do very shortly. Yeah, yeah, I like those arcade styles like that. Uh, there's one I have in mind, but I don't think it'll be done 
until later in the conquest and way, way, way later on. Um, I think it would be really cool to redeem myself from the NWC championships to obtain the world record speed run on Super Metroid. I think that would be the biggest statement in the world if I was to go and speed run that game and take that record after losing to Sinister in 10 seconds. Um, I think there'd just be something really cool. I mean, nothing against Sinister or anything, but I think it'd be a really cool statement to be like, hey, this guy lost in this game, but now he kicks ass in it. Well, it kicks more ass in it than he did before, but... So, uh, that's what I want to add to it. And I, I keep adding to it. I keep seeing new games that I want to try and things like that. Uh, like Burger Time. I don't know why, but I looked at the score for Burger Time, and I think I could break the high score on Burger Time on the NES. But I don't think I want to put myself through that. Yeah, yeah, it'd be, it'd be my mic drop. Uh, <laughs> but... That's a big commitment. Uh, Speedrunning a game is huge, especially a speedrun that is 45 minutes. That's the record right now that I think is like 45 minutes. That's, that's a big commitment to memorize 45 minutes of gameplay. Uh, so that's going to be something later on. I'm not sure when, but that is, that is a goal of mine is to be able to speedrun Super Metroid. So, but, let's keep going. Uh, I got another half hour, 45 minutes left to play before I'm going to go to bed. Let's see if we can get another stage done. We're actually making progress tonight for a change. This is our third stage we've done. Oh, that gravity sucks! Cheap. Nothing over there. Ooh, let's go up here and check the far, far left corner quick before I go down. And like I said, I have no problem recording them in my spare time. I don't need to stream them. If you guys feel that watching me try to speedrun games is not um, all that interesting, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Um, my the street or the Twitch channel is more about keeping you guys entertained and having you tagged along for the journey of what I do for gaming. It's not creepy at all. Look at that fucking bat. Yeah, and that would be something I would do. I, I really enjoy it when I watch a streamer and they explain what's going on, why they're doing what strat, what they're trying to achieve, and I, I 
I like it when you actually watch the person succeed too. Like you watch them grow and they're engaging. Okay, well, I'll keep it. I'll keep it in mind. Um, like I said, it's the the other thing too is I've got. I don't want to say other commitments, but I've got other gaming interests. Interest, um, for instance, a buddy of mine. I don't know if I'm going to stream this yet, but uh, a buddy of mine and I are talking about doing uh, Halo speed runs. There's no speed run for legendary co-op on Halo on Halo One, Two, and Three. So we're talking about doing them. Um, I don't think we'll stream them. But I do plan on playing Halo. Like Halo 5 is coming out next Tuesday. Um, I probably will be streaming that next Friday. It won't be a retro game, or next Tuesday. It won't be a retro game or anything. It'll be probably end up being Halo 5 if you guys are interested in that. Damn, this stage sucks! Yeah, that's a good idea. And I, I'm a big, big fan of the Halo series. So Halo Five is probably going to take priority over some of the uh, the streaming I do. I shouldn't say streaming. Like I'm probably going to spend some of my extra nights playing that. Um. But I know Tuesday night for sure is going to be... I'm going to be playing Halo 5 because it comes out Tuesday. Oh, there's a fucking ship right there.
What's the point in this area? I'm not sure what just happened. Did anybody happen to catch what that, uh, that code was? Oh my god, the gravity is insane here. That must have been a warp pipe or something I hit down there. I'm okay with it. Notice my bullets do more damage here. I think my shields are... Not my shields, but my thrusters are better. Okay, I will, uh... I'll head back in there later. take a, an exact look at everything. Four ten. Okay, I will take a look later. Ten's got some crazy fucking gravity, that's all I know. Whatever level this is. The double strength boosters are really nice. Should have got the extra shields too.
And uh, I normally don't collect money, but these usually have a lot of stuff in them, and I could use like the shield upgrades and stuff. Some nice money. What? Wow, fuck you, game. Man, I guess there's a ship around here somewhere. Nope. Fuck. This is intense!
Yeah, that, uh, that was insane. I didn't know where to go. Now that that pod, I lost that pod, I don't have the upgrades anymore. Boy, you're on ball tonight, Photon. You really want to help out the Epilepsy Foundation. Thank you. 
This is my last fuel pod that I need to get, and this is my last ship. I also then need to explore and find out where the warp's it warp is. That's what them do? You are fucking kidding me. I just now found that out. That you can drop shit off into those wormholes. This is it, guys. If I can manage to live through here, we'll beat this stage too.
It was right there. The piece was right there. Now I have to hope to God I can get back there without dying. Before I call, I think all the enemies are back. So now that responds. So I need to make it back here with enough gas. To get that piece out of there. I kind of know the path this time. Good amount of health there until I reached the those dual cannons there. Yeah, this is my last life. And the gravity on this one is different. It's Pulls way more than any of the other stages I've done. Oh, 
I just had one extra ship, we would have been out of this. So close. Yeah, so the only part with the problem with those double engines is the fact that I can't kill them unless I'm on the back side, so I have to try to, uh... I have to try to grab them. Or, I just have to try to bypass them, honestly. I need to remember not to be afraid to drop the tractor beam if I feel like I'm getting out of control. Dude, how many fucking pieces did I find?
That was like the best I've done in there. Bam, I got six out of ten. Dude, are we on stage 11? I suppose, since before we continue, well, I'm actually going to be done for the night, but figure of speech. So, I I must have hit that when I fell into that um, lava there. That must have been a wormhole, and it must have warped me levels, which was insane. So I must have went from level 4, 5, 6. I went from level 6 to level 10. Um, are you guys okay with that? Is that something that you're fine with, or do you want me to go back and play levels 7, 8, and 9? Looks like we raised a little bit of money, too, tonight. Photon was calling me out pretty good. Okay. I just... I, I, I noticed how people kind of get to the tendency where they like to watch people complete it all the way, and I've noticed how TMR's viewers like to actually see the fact that he doesn't use stuff like that. Um, okay. I just want to make sure that, you know, my viewers are enjoying what they're watching. I like the fact that you guys are okay with taking it easy and things like that. Um, I know there are games where I'd like to slow up on things like that. Uh, this game I'm, I'm okay using it with because this game is just a little unrealistic in some ways. And really, all I'm doing is saving myself time in this game. Because basically, what would have to happen in order for me to beat this game legit would be to practice every stage to the point where I knew it perfectly and not lose a life so I could continue to have my free guys throughout the stages. Exactly. And that's not that's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to show that I, I can beat these games. I want to beat these games, and I don't care if it's what the time is. I just want to, I just want to beat them. That's, that's all that matters. You know, as long as I use, I'm not using the game genie. I'm not using anything that's not intended for the player to find or use. That's, that's kind of my main rule. And it's to have fun. That's the main thing we need to focus on is we're all having fun. But yeah, we've got 11, 12, we got three stages left guys. And we'll be done with this game. Thank you, Photon. I've never played this game. Uh, I can't say it's in my top 10 favorite. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what I can say is the gravity mechanic in this game is fantastic for an NES game. Uh, stuff like this I didn't even think existed back then with the fact that they could put a, gravity, uh, a gravitational pull into a video game. That's fantastic. I love that. Um, but the gameplay of the game gets old. Um, and the fact they didn't explain the fucking wormholes to you, that really pissed me off. Uh, the, the fact those small little wormholes you can send stuff through, I didn't know that. So, but guys, I am going to be heading to bed. I got to get up early and do some homework tomorrow before I head to work. Um, I had fun tonight, guys, and it was a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thursday night will... I'm thinking Thursday night's going to be world record, guys. Stick, uh, Go ahead and tweet it out, do whatever you guys want to do. Broadcast me. Um, 
I'm going to be doing Donkey Kong Country. I'd like to get a set for. My goal is to beat the ROM set, and then my second goal for Thursday night is to try to beat my previous record to hold on to. Alright guys, have a